Hello friends. Picture the scene if you will. Coast of Mexico, overlooking a nice marina, gazing over the sea, a blue azure sky, the sun high, noon, a few clouds, and a giant fuck off planet bigger than the moon. Well, that's what Scott of Planet X News is claiming in the video that he's currently got, sent by a loyal subscriber. Hello everybody, welcome back to Planet X News. This is Scott from the Nibiru channel. It is June 19th, 2017. You know, ladies and gentlemen, we, we view a lot of photographs, we view a lot of video from around the world, and we're simply searching for answers. That's what we do. Today, I was going through messages on our Planet X News Facebook page. And I receive a lot of videos and a lot of photographs on a daily basis. Hundreds, if not thousands a day. And today, one of my subscribers sent in a video that was being recorded off of the webcams from Mexico. What you're about to see is probably going to blow your mind forever. And you may even have nightmares. I've seen a lot over the course of my years in study and investigations and research into Planet X, Nibiru, Nemesis, again, whatever you want to call it. But what you're about to see is breathtaking and mind-blowing. And I'm going to show you Joe's video. And it's going to blow your mind. Let's take a look. Just pay very close attention. What is this? I'll give him give him a minute because he's recording this from his screen. What is this? You have the sun. You can obviously see this object. The stripes, similar to what I photographed, the blue dwarf planet. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. Now, I've had to turn the volume of his video down, well, because apparently he was pretty excited and... I had to kind of monitor <laughs> what his reactions were to what he's seeing. And after viewing this myself, my reactions were the same. I don't know how many F-bombs I dropped with the, uh, the WTF verbiage. Ladies and gentlemen, if that is a lens flare, that is the biggest lens flare I've ever seen in my entire life. I've never seen anything like that before. But lo and behold, looking at what you're looking at, what is your explanation? As I've said many times before, there will come a day when they can no longer hide what is out there. Everything will break down with their cloaking devices that they try to use to deceive the world population. And what you're looking at right now, I don't have any words for it. I only have one explanation. That what you're looking at is there. So, weird troll, had a closer look, knowing full well what we were going to find. So, as is the way, 
the best place to go is the source. But first we did review the video. And it didn't take very long to work out what was going on. The stripes, as he referred to them, just like the planet he'd taken a picture of some time ago. Well, if you looked close enough, you could see that they were going over the land, not behind them. And also there were some double artifacts in the planet. Warm. So obviously reflections within reflections. And if you looked close enough again, you could see the prismatic refraction of colours. So it was pretty obvious it was just lens flare, despite him saying, It's the biggest lens flare I've ever seen. Jesus. Supposedly an expert since 2012. You know fuck all, you idiot. So, having analysed the video, we went to source. Initially, we just grabbed a screenshot, got the exact shot we needed. Yep, got that. Confirmed it. And then I downloaded some of the video. We've got it in 30 frames per second, 10 frames per second, and 1 frame per second. And I've compiled all this into this rather nifty little video you're watching. And you can more than adequately see what is happening. So, first off, you can see I have uh, ringed the anomalies. The green rings the rainbow colouring. The two red rings circle the identical reflections. They're actually inverted of each other, so they're a reflection of each other. And the blue stripe, the blue line indicates the stripe that goes from over the land, proving that it is indeed an in-camera anomaly rather than being a planet behind the horizon line. <sighs> and so we move on. And then we're into the video footage. First is 30 frames per second, which is really quick. It lasts a few seconds, but you can see as the sun goes down, the lens flare begins to form and the clouds move in at the same time. So they're actually ab obscuring where a planet would be in the sky. So we know it's lens flare anyway. The clouds just add confirmation that there's no way it was a planet at all. And then you're on to the 15 frames per second, which is a bit slower. Lasts about one and a half, well, one and a half times longer. Then we've got the one frame per second, which I've trimmed down to just the relevant section, um, which is basically from the sun actually going down uh, until it's all the way down. And you can see the slow progression all the way. So there we have it. You're an arsehole. You're supposed to be the expert. We already know you're not. 
Why do you have to keep hammering your own nails in the coffin? Just leave that to us. You're not qualified. But, as a consolation prize, here is the Wittery Prize for 2017, just for you. Enjoy. Everyone at Troll would like to congratulate you.